And the question I asked in today's poll is, do you believe, do you think that the passion of the Christ directed, produced by Mel Gibson, is it the greatest piece of Catholic art in the last 50 years? I think it is. I think when you look at from a theological perspective, um, you know, and it's not some of these kind of cheesy evangelical left behind preachy films, but from a theological point of view, from an aesthetic point of view, the beauty of it, um, from a historical point of view, you know, with the Aramaic and the Greek and the Latin and all of these things, uh, from, a, from the point of view of impact, cultural significance. Remember how controversial this was when it came out? Do you remember all the people crying and weeping in the movie theaters? Maybe you were one of them. I saw the film as Protestant. I was not yet a Catholic. And I remember the impact it made on me concerning the Blessed Virgin Mary. You know, as a, as a Protestant, as an evangelical, you don't often think about Mary's role there at the Passion, there at the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. But if you read John's Gospel, she is there. Christ on the cross says, woman, behold your son. She is there adoring the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And my favorite scene, it's a lot of people's favorite scene, is when our Lord is carrying the cross. He falls down on the dirt. The cross comes down upon him, crushes him. Our Lady on the Via Dolorosa runs to him. She has the flashback of the young Christ child falling. She goes and comforts him. I'm here. I'm here. And he knows he can't stay there and be comforted by his mother. He's the son of man. He's the son of God. And he says, behold, I make all things new, which is not in any of the four canonical gospels. It's in the apocalypse. It's in the book of Revelation. But he might as well say it in that moment because he is on a mission to save sinful, wretched humanity from original sin, mortal sin, venial sin, disease, death, and ultimately the fires of hell. It's fantastic. And then the best of Mel Gibson as an actor is the Hamlet. I don't think, in my opinion, there's anyone who's done Hamlet better than Mel Gibson. And that's kind of like the end all be all of acting, isn't it? Yeah, Kenneth Brownick, mm, he's too prim and proper. Mel Gibson takes Hamlet and gives him that lethal weapon, crazy-eyed, just like you would think Hamlet would be. A young, kind of deranged young man dealing with the death of his father, the invasion of his mother's wedding bed, and all these kind of things. But if you if you haven't seen Mel Gibson play Hamlet, man, you gotta, you gotta make some time. Yeah, people are agreeing. Great actor. His Hamlet is great. Honestly, I have see, I've gone to a lot of Shakespeare Alive. I've gone, I've seen Shakespeare Alive in London. I've seen Shakespeare Alive here in the U.S. I like Shakespeare. I like the performance of it on the stage. Um, in college, I took Shakespeare on film and high school. Sh I'm a, I like Shakespeare. I just got to say, Mel Gibson on the Hamlet, we just got to give him a standing ovation on that.